Hi everyone, it's Fitz with your daily delivery from Las Vegas. Hope you're doing well, I'm quite good. A little bit worn out from this first day of coverage of the Big 12 Media Days here at Allegiant Stadium, but a pretty productive day. And these things are really busy. Today alone you had eight schools, eight head coaches on the podium, four or five players from every school, covering about, I don't know, a five hour period. So you, you literally can't be everywhere uh, and you can't cover everything. But one of the things I've been really interested in is seeing Avery Johnson function at this thing and how people are viewing him here in Las Vegas. First reminder, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit the thumbs up, leave those comments. All of that is much appreciated. And let's talk about Avery Johnson. You know, I tweeted out uh, when K-State released the list that it was interesting they're taking a sophomore quarterback who wouldn't be considered the returning starter. <clears throat> that just doesn't happen very often. Schools don't do that. They don't trust a young player like that to come here and represent the school. Chris Kleiman told me it's just totally different with Avery. Uh, I've described him once as an old soul, and it, it, when you talk to him, this kid just is so grounded. and has got things figured out. And Chris Kleiman admitted he just wants him to be the face of the football team. He wants him to kind of take control of the brand and, and run with it. And, I thought that was really interesting. I mean, when you meet Avery, you just kind of know there's something different going on with this guy. I mean, uh, he is so cool, calm, and collected. And then you add in the football player, the kid that can run and throw and lead and do all those things. And you have a, one of the most intriguing players, not just in K-State history, but maybe Big 12 history. And if he produces at anywhere close to the level that we think, he's gonna be one of the best players. But this is really the beginning of his journey as a starting quarterback. To come to something like this, represent his team, his school, and the conference uh, in such a huge setting with so much media around, it's just a really neat opportunity for a young man. But it's all part of being the starting quarterback. And not just a starting quarterback at a school or a Big 12 school, but at a school that's considered a contender for the National College Football Playoff. That's really interesting to me. I, I mean, just takes all this on his shoulders and just handles it, just deals with it. It's such a cool customer. Um, he looked fantastic. His sister Lauren dropped by to say hi to him. She lives out here uh, because the K-State players are getting no enjoyment of Las Vegas. They flew in this morning on a charter, <clears throat> and as soon as they're done here in just a few minutes, they're flying out. Chris Kleiman wants this to be about business, doesn't want a distraction of, of any sort. Let's get in there, do our thing, and get out, almost treating this like a road game. And that's fine with Avery and, and all the players we spoke with down here and uh, out here in Las Vegas. I keep making that mistake. And it's, it's just, I'm so impressed by Avery Johnson. Every time I see him in a setting like this and how he just kind of conducts himself and <clears throat> patiently moves from interview to interview, doing his thing, being himself, which is a humble kid that's really in touch with the reality of what's going on around him. He knows this is a big stage, but it's not a stage that scares him. And that's why he's probably going to be a pretty damn good quarterback. He doesn't live or play with fear. He just goes out, plays like himself, comes to something like this. He is himself. And it's a pretty good self to be. That is a good kid. K-State's lucky to have him representing the school. He might be even more lucky to have him playing quarterback and leading this program.